Capricorn, welcome to Lauren's Palace. My name's Lauren. Thank you guys for all the love. Like, y'all account for the majority of my views and my subscribers, it's looking like. So, I appreciate all the love, Capricorn. Thank you for, like, rolling through and chilling with your boy. Like, for real, I love y'all. Thank you. Capricorn is putting me on the map. You and Libra, it seems, have some love for me. This week, Cancers are showing some love, so love all of y'all. Thank you for the views and the subscribes. All right. <clears throat> like, share, subscribe. Hit your notification button. Do it. Do it now. If you're so inclined to book me, you can book me in the description. However, my availability is limited. I do work. That being said, Spirit, we give you thanks for your guidance and your presence and your protection, the abundance. Give me accurate, precise messages for the Capricorn Collective. May they resonate for their highest good. That's what we're here to do for the highest good. Spirit, what does Capricorn need to know for their highest good? What do they need to know for their highest good? Hmm. Interesting. Capricorn could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, could be dealing with the Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, could be dealing with the Leo, could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Done with the cancer. Said that already, but at the bottom we have the page of pentacles. Someone making a small gesture. <clears throat> I believe this is an apology. Someone wants to come in and offer an apology. Some small gesture. Someone wants to sell towards peaceful, common waters. Someone has been in hermit mode, seeking enlightenment, seeking wisdom, trying to understand their feelings, their thoughts, trying to understand what happened between the two of you. That sets you off track. Trying to understand themselves. Trying to see the truth that they have within them. The truth about their feelings. They've been lying to themselves for a long time. Someone, Queen of Swords and Queen of Cups says, tell me the truth, nothing but the truth, so help you. This is, I need to share my feelings. 
My intuition is guiding me to talk about my feelings and to tell how I feel. Saying, being honest with this communication about my feelings, because someone struggles with their feelings, is what's going to make them happy with the sun. This person is going to have to take some sort of action. They can come across a little bit childish because they're not entirely sure of what action to take. We have two pages. Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands. This is someone that wants to come in flirty. Like they're going to like flirt. They want to catch you in a good mood. Because they want to come in with this Knight of Cups. Oh, they want to seduce you. This Knight of Cups. He's seductive. Because you know what comes after the seduction? The Knight of Wands. People going in and out. That's what the Knight of Wands does. The Knight of Wands is promiscuous. Community meet. Community poom poom. They rush in to tell you how they feel. But then they rush in and out with the passionate action. You never know what the fuck is going on. Because they're not emotionally balanced. They don't know what the hell they want. One minute they want you, the next minute they're trying to slide you some meat. Slide you some poom poom. They get what they want. Then they disappear. Then they come back. Talking about, just want to work on things with you. I'm sorry things didn't work out in the past. I regret what I did. I know that you know what I did with the high priestess. Could be done with the cancer. I know you know what I did. I know that I was giving the two. But I'm on my knees begging for forgiveness. So is either you or the other person, but somebody had two choices. One was the Queen of Swords, the other was the Queen of Cups. Gemini, Gemini Libra, Aquarius, or Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. They had two choices. I think they made the wrong choice. Now they want to come back and make peace. Because they made the wrong choice. It's two queens here. It's just two people. It's two people. We've got this three of pentacles. This is three people. This is a love triangle. Ew. Tawdry. You want some truth about this. This love triangle. This motherfucker just needs to grow up. Damn. It's like they don't want to leave you alone. It's crazy. Like, just leave you alone if you don't want the real. Leave my caps alone. I'm going to come in on this Knight of Wands shit. Leave you in this Five of Cups energy. Ask for forgiveness. Repeat cycle. Right now they're being very quiet. They're not saying anything. Formulating their move. Because they're fucking page. Yep.
you are Capricorn. Urban Tarot. Bottom, we have the Prince of Discs, the Day Trader. Somebody that focuses a lot of money. Because money is, like, that's what they use as a tool to attract people. This image of them. Some of them may actually be in brokerage or real estate. Brokerage of real estate. Something in the financial industry. This person is worried that it's going to be futile for them to try to approach you. Because there's so much strife there. Strife. Futility. Seven of Swords. Five of Wands. It's fighting about them ghosting you. Yeah, this motherfucker ghosted you. They probably tried to say they were just working on their money. And then, like, just slowly ease their way out. Yeah, I'm just busy with work. Yeah, I'm just, I got a lot to do at work. No, I don't really have time to talk to you. I don't have time to explain things. I'm, I, I, I'm, I got to go to work. I'm sorry. And then you just never heard from them. So, you, being the queen of discs, have made peace with this whole situation. Like you said, I'm cool. I'm cool. I don't need this anymore. I've made peace with this already. I've made peace with this being over. Like, I, I just don't need this shit. This person... Wants to make some short sort of uh, childish gesture. Prince of Wands, same thing as the page. But this person, they want to um, come towards you with some sort of maneuver. Probably write you a long text, email. Tell you that, baby, we're supposed to be together. We belong together. And some end of the road shit. You know that I'm right. The end of the road. So natural. Uh, come on, baby, please. <laughs> That's your face. <laughs> That's Sean's face, Capricorn. Y'all said. When this person left, they thought they were going to get wish fulfillment somewhere else with the star. Instead, they got disappointed. Playing around with this third party energy. Guess what happened? Guess. Just guess, Capricorn. Guess. Can you guess? Karma clapped the cheeks, y'all. Tower moment could be done with the Scorpio, could be done with the Aquarius with the star, Gemini with the lovers. We have the universe and the tower together. 
This is when the almighty, divine, most high, the universe, or whatever you call it, claps the cheeks. Because this person was very manipulative. Seven of Cups. They liked seeing what else was out there. With the mage, this person was all about manifesting these other opportunities. They were focused on seven of cups, debauchery, being the community meat, being the community poom poom. This shit caught up with the ass. Some of them, tower moments include, but not limited to, STDs. Some of them had unwanted pregnancies, male or female. Some of them had to deal with some abortions. They were working on things with other people in the past. Some of them, Got into domestic disputes. Got their asses whooped. I mean, shit did not go well for them. So if they're looking like they're happy on social media, I assure you they are not happy. Don't even worry about if they're happy. Live your life. You averted a disaster, yo. The divine prayer protected your ass. What seems like it was a disappointment... Was, was the divine protection. Be thankful. For real. They come back. I don't know. Is it going to be the same shit? Is it going to be more strife? Is it futile? Is it going to be too small? Is it going to be too little too late? Only you know the answer to that. Everybody's situation is different. That's why it's a general reading. Some people want to pass back. Some don't. Only you know where you fit in and what is healthy and right for you. So do whatever is most loving to yourself. That's all I got to say about that. May your decisions that you make be loving to yourself. If they are not loving to yourself, don't do it. Use your intuition. Like, share, subscribe, hit your notification. Do it. So you know when I'm live, the live readings be out the chain. And then follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. I'm hilarious. I am. All kind of craziness happens there. A Lawrence Palace. At a Lawrence Palace. It's that easy. Type in the app. Look at how I spell the channel here. A Lawrence Palace. That's all you got to type in. You find me. I'm there. For you. For your entertainment. your story time for your little bit of help that you might need I do it all peace blessings I say one love y'all